this video subject it's about water I want to talk about the water so humans use the water to put the fire down yeah that's why the firefighters do they bring the water to take the fire down well kind of in the same way we use the water like we eat food and it creates a fire inside of us you know some kind of reactions the food the acid in the stomach and all the stuff you know the this compose is getting decomposed is getting hot from the body temperature and we need water I'm gonna take a break good drink some because I have it in front of me now we hear all these things, you gotta drink this much amount of water per day, you always have to stay hydrated, stuff like that, yeah? Now, I want to say, like, if the water, the purpose of water is to clean the body, to, to take all the chemicals out, to flush the stuff the body doesn't need, yeah? That's why we drink the water, actually. Because this whole thing about hydration is a little tricky, because... If we measure the amount of pee we actually have every day and then the amount of water we drink, we realize well, actually we didn't use that much water for our bodies. We drink it and then somehow most of it we pee it or we sweat it. So why do we need all the water if we actually letting it out? So the water is trying to clean the body, detox the body, all the chemicals we're giving to the body, you know, that has to leave the body. So if you eat clean, and more, the more clean you eat, you're going to need less water. Because there's no need to take all the chemicals out if you don't put it inside. So I realize I have days when I don't drink that much water. And I ask myself, oh, maybe that's bad, maybe I should drink more water, yeah? But... If the body doesn't ask for the water, I'm not going to force it down the throat, you know, just because it's on the clock, you know. The animals don't drink water on the clock. The animals don't drink water because uh, they have heard it on the radio or in some news or read it in a book. They drink water on a thirst. If they're not thirsty, they don't, don't drink water. Some animals don't drink water every day. Some animals drink water uh, every couple of days, you know. So they still manage to survive. So the point is, the cleaner we're going to eat, the less water we're going to need. And if the environment is nice, if we keep the body in a nice environment where it's not too hot, not too cold, we don't sweat too much, and it's too cold, we also start sweating because the body starts to let go to some calories to stay warm. Same when it's hot. So if the temperature is nice... We don't need that much water. Actually, our water is pretty heavy, you know. That's how it goes through the body. It comes out. It's like a heavy thing. Um, I'm not saying don't drink water. I'm saying eat cleaner and you will not need that much water. And there's also water in our air where we're inhaling. It's a humidity in the air where we're actually getting water through our breath. You know, like if you see the weather channel and they say humidity 50%, 60%, 80%, 100% humidity is raining. So there's a lot of water in the air. If you're in the right environment and you're inhaling all this air, you're actually getting some vapors of water. So this relaxes me personally and I know a lot of people now they start thinking and a lot of you already knew. You don't need that much water. I can go for hikes sometimes. I used to go on hikes. I don't bring any water with me for three, four hours up and down the mountains. Maybe a small bottle, you know. And I just zip and keep my mouth wet, you know, and my throat. But I don't need really to swallow it. And I swallow it and I'm going to go pee it. So it just goes through my body, yeah. But if it's something I eat and it's not good, the water is going to go there to do its job, you know. To... To calm the fire. So the water is to calm the fire. That's why we need the water. It's a fire inside of our stomach. Some reactions. So I hope this video comes handy. 
Peace.